Hey guys, welcome to La Cave Inside. I'm Marcus and today I want to show you this little bad boy. It is the new whiskey from Gram MA. It's a Grand MA3 whiskey and um, it's a tiny tool, but it's a very important tool. It has got basically two main options. Option one is where it is designed for. It allows um, compatible visualizers to grab all the data of the Grand MA3 net and so uh, you don't need that much processing units um, to run your visualizers. So a desk standalone is fine or a single on PC solution is fine to run all your param parameters in your show file. Option two is you connect this thing to a Grand MA on PC software solution running Renome on PC3, whether a Mac or a PC, so that's cool. And it allows you to enable 512 parameters in your network session. Now, the main reason to use that is to have an external visualizer available to the Renome 3 um, without having a lot of uh, processing units or even you can hook it up on a single on PC software solution system. So you just plug this one into um, a free USB port, USB-C or USB-2, whatever you, you want. There are both cables available within the, the package. And then it gives the visualizer the ability to grab um, all parameters, whether granted or not granted, of a Grand MA3 network system. You also can use this as an extender if you have got, a, for example, a Grand MA3 Lite console running in mode 3 and then you have got 8192 parameters normally available. But with the width key it doesn't matter because the station can grab all your parameters you're using inside the show file. Um, it's important to use one whisk key for one visualizer station. That's really important for you. Um, currently, there is no release version of any visualizer available yet, which uh, has got the feature included for the Grand MA3 with key. But in the upcoming weeks, I think they will be available. Um, as far as I know, there will be the, the capture software. Carbon for Unreal, Depends 2, and Vectorworks Vision. Um, Granime stays in contact as well with other manufacturers as well. So stay tuned for them to uh, get a new release version of them and uh, then it will work with this new device. But I want to show you a solution how you can use that uh, device right now because MA Lightning has got integrated the feature of this device in their uh, Grand MA3 version 1.4 and now you have to get the ability to um, play out 512 parameters or granted them in the whole network session even if you're using only the on-PC version. Now I want to show you how to set up this device in an on-PC software solution whether Mac or PC so that's the cool one. If two guys from Depends are watching let me know you can uh, send me a beta and I will test it for you and of course I will make a review. Um, let's go to uh, Windows. Now this is Grand MA3 on PC um, version 1.4 and I already connected the device via USB to this device here. Now go to menu, open up network and now open this uh, row and here you can see the type is the WIS dongle. So that means that the dongle is uh, recognized from the system. And um, if we have a closer look now, we see that we have got now available 512 parameters in this on PC. So that's cool. Um, let's go further to have some testing. Now I want to show you an example. Um, we're sending out Artnet via the Grandma on PC software and then receive it in this case with an, a Depends um, demo version. So just to show you that it is possible to send out 512 parameters now. So we are switching to the on PC software and uh, we are going to patch some lights. Go to the patch. In that case, I'm using some Mythos. 
select them. Um, quantity of 10 is fine. Fixture ID starting at 1, patch ID starting at 1.1. So that's basically the patch. I would like to have a fixture sheet. Now we have to set up the Artnet protocol on the Grand MA on PC. Um, for this, we are going to menu, DMX protocols, Artnet. We're still here. <clears throat> enable the Artnet, the overall Artnet output. Um, enable this line of Artnet. And now we can have a look what is set it up here. So um, we start at the local universe one and we're sending out one universe to the Artnet net zero, Artnet subnet zero universe. No, zero. That's fine. So this is everything we need to set up in the GranMA. Um, let's check out the Artnet and we can see that we are still receiving Artnet here. So um, for example, I can change something here, maybe the position. And you see the Artnet data are moving. So that means Artnet is still fine. Um, to go on, I want to show you now a little bit more. In this case, I'm using Depends, but not with the visualizer key uh, enabled on the Depends uh, computer. I just want to show you how to receive Artnet via Depends because it's not available yet in the software version of uh, Depends but will be in a few weeks. So we are going to patch the same lights that was um, Mitel's. Still get to go to stage lighting and then search for Mitel's. Mitel's. Mode, it was the 30 channel standard mode, the amount of 10. I'm not drag and drop these lights over here. Then we need to tell Depends to be able to receive Artnet. This is possible by um, going to the Hardware Manager. Create a new show player, virtual show player. Click here to Artnet, Artnet enabled. Now you can see we are receiving signal. So let's turn on the lights and that's it. We have successfully captured Artnet. And this is without any on PC nodes or any processing units or any desk connected to this. Um, it's only because the visualization key is uh, or uh, enables us 512 parameters to send it out. Okay, that was basically a sneak preview for the Granimate 3 with key. Um, if the visualizers has got the new releases available yet, then I will let you know and I will do of course some tutorials and uh, some videos about that. Um, let me know what you think about this device. Um, let me know if you have any other ideas what I can show on this channel for you. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. See you. Bye bye.